Hey guys, what's up? It's Aubrey. 안녕하세요. 저는 Aubrey입니다. And today I am here with Amber. <laughs> Hi, my name is Amber. I was a former chef and now I'm a restaurant consultant. I am so happy to be here with you. Know about it. Oh, congratulations! Okay. Thank you. Yes, so, what is it? I, gosh, so, you gotta you gotta tell us before. I, I should. So my show just on magic was just nominated for two Emmys. Awesome! So we wow. were nominated That's for. That's a big deal, right? Yes. Yeah, we were very excited. Oh, so wow. we've been I should nominated. Ask for an autograph. <laughs> nominated for best cinematography and for best children and family wow. programming. So. Summer recipe. Well, we, it's it's all year round actually. But the reason why we want to make it a lot in summer is because um, the main ingredient, zucchini, are uh, they tend yeah they become sweeter during summer. Really? Yeah. But we always love cooking with uh, seasonal ingredients. So let me give you a little bit of introduction of what we're cooking with. Awesome. So here on the tray we have the summer zucchini and we have a pyogo basak. This is a Korean version, Korean way of saying uh, shiitake mushroom. Oh. We have garlic, my favorite. Yep, and then we have a scallion or a green onions, and then we have uh, uh, like a quarter block of uh, tofu. I recommend you use um, the firm, the firm quality, and we have the dumpling skins. Of course, I mean you can make this from scratch, but you can always go to a store. So first thing first, we're gonna salt brine the zucchini. So here's your knife. So the first thing first, like I said. We're gonna use the zucchini. I think for about you know two, one, one or two servings, the half a size is perfect. So we're gonna split and share. This is super easy. What you wanna do? Mm -hmm. Cut the end. Okay. Yep. Because we don't wanna use that part. And I'm gonna toss it here. So we're gonna cut it into a round disc. It doesn't have to be super thin. Yeah. Just all the way. And then you Jillian cut your careful. See? <laughs> but this is the fun part, right? Yes. You don't have to do it as fast as I do. We can do it slowly. The most important thing in cooking is safety. Yes. So one important step about making dumpling is to salt brine the ingredients. The reason why we want to so this is about um see we use the whole zucchini, right? But I think to reduce the time of cooking, I'm gonna kind of use half. The reason why we do this is because we want to release all the moisture and give it a quick toss. All right. So, see now it's stiff, right? Uh huh. And then it will break if I bend it, right? So when you know the doneness of the salt brine the zucchini, when you bend it, it's soft. It and yeah, but when oh. it's salt brine well enough, then it gets softer, and then because it releases wow. all the water. And like I said, the reason why we don't want too much moisture in the vegetable is because when we actually put the stuffing inside the the skin. And as it's cooking, water releases a lot and it will make the dough soggy and stuff and it will tear wow. apart, right? So we want to kind of squeeze out all the water as much as possible. Wow. And also it makes the ingredients uh, more uh, crispier and crunchier in texture. Yeah, so the while the zucchinis are salt brining, let's prepare the shiitake mushroom. So, there's a way to prepare it. You see how there's a stem? Yes. Right? We're going to cut it up. Careful. But. We're not gonna use this one for the particular recipe that we're making today, but do not throw this away because what I do is I save them all and then I actually use this for making a vegetable stock. Oh, These are very, wow. very flavorful. Sometimes I put it in a little Ziploc bag and put it in a freezer and then when you're making veggie stock, I just put this in there. That is a great yeah. idea. Usually I just cut them off and throw them away. <laughs> See, now you know. So same thing, you're gonna julienne cut it. Okay. Just a thin slices like that. How do you say mushroom in Korean? Pausa. Pausa? Yes. Pausa. Pausa? Yep. Yeah, because um, the mushrooms are a little bit big. I mean, if they were smaller, I can still use it like that. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a little bit uh, fine chop, just like that. Use the, you know, the back of your hand yes. or the palm. Use your palm. Yeah. And kind of, 
it doesn't have to be in a certain shape because we're going to uh, saute it. So it's going to lose its shape anyway. So it doesn't have to be pretty. Amazing. This is kind of like a fun thing to do. Chop, chop, chop. Okay, Aubrey, can you do me a big favor? I Are you good honored. at sauteing? I am really good at sauteing. Okay, let's <laughs> see then. All right, so we have a small skillet right here. Give it a quick uh, light oil spray. And let's wait until the skillet gets heated a little bit. And we're going to throw this in there and we're going to give it a quick saute. Perfect. Okay? The, the tip that I want to give you is we want to use a high heat uh -huh. and then do a quick saute so that it doesn't release too much water. Ah. Because if you fry it too long, then it releases all too much water and then it gets too watery. Got and then that's what we don't want. Okay? okay. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's do it. Yep. All right. Get all of it in there. Yay! Yeah! Yeah, yeah! Okay. You're doing great. Keep going. All right. Yep. So we have a tofu. What we're going to do, we don't want to cut it into uh, like a chunky pieces. Uh -huh. What we're going to do, I'm going to show you. So this is, I recommend, like I said, uh, use a, the firm, the most firm tofu because it, ha it has the least amount of water. As it gets softer, it has more, more water. Yes, mm -hmm. more water. So I'm going to give you a half. Okay. So one for you Thank and one you. for me. And voila, we're going to use the back of the knife here and we're going to just mash it like that. Oh, yes. that's cool. Wait, yeah. which way do you hold it? This way? Or... Oh, you don't <laughs> You're gonna cut your hand, are you? Oh my god, you scare me. Okay, so use the back, so the back of the knife should be facing you. Okay. okay. And then just gently use your finger to press it down like that. Because tofu is very soft. See? <laughs> I know. This is fun. I love making mess like this. <laughs> yes. You should become a chef. I would actually love that so much. Oh, wow. See? You're so creative. You already can think of like Aww. different recipes using the same ingredients. Okay, yeah. now we have the mashed tofu. So let's our let's check on our uh, zucchini. See All how right. it, if it's self brined enough. So now we have salt brine zucchini. Let's see. Like I said, if you want to know if it's well uh, brined, the doneness. Look. Oh yeah. Ta -da! So it doesn't break in half. All right. It became. Ah, see, it bends like this, right? I see. Yeah. So that means it's ready. Like I said, we're going to squeeze out all the water. Do you see how there's so much water oh like that? Oh my goodness, yeah. I know. We just sprinkle salt and let it sit for 10 minutes and it already released this much water. Wow. We don't want this water, right? No. And, I mean, you can basically use your hand to squeeze out water, but this works better, I think. So go ahead. Choo -choo -choo. So all the zucchini gets in there. I'm going to go ahead and put uh, tofu oh. in there too because we want the stuffing of the dumplings as dry as possible. And then look like this and then we're going to squeeze out water like this. Look! Look at all this water! Wow! So like I said, if there's too much water and stuffing, then it can tear the skin, the dumpling skin, and it's not going to hold its shape. Obviously not, right? Right. So we're halfway done. More than halfway, I think. Super easy. See, ta da! <laughs> so throw in there. Okay, so can you hold it like that? Yes. Pretty. Thank you so much. You're so helpful. <laughs> okay, so time for mushrooms to be added. So we're adding mushrooms into the mixture. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, the crunch is like so satisfying. Oh, I know. I love the ASMR. See, you can, yeah, you can. <laughs> <laughs> right, so, yep, we're almost there done, we we're almost done. Oh good, wow, look at you, Yay. good job. Okay, so throw it in there. There you go. So we're going to season it with uh, just a pinch of salt. Okay. That's enough. Because we already salt brine all the ingredients, so it's got salt in there. So we don't want to make it too salty, right? right. And plus we want to use the dipping sauce, right? When we're eating a dumpling. Yes. This is just a, a one teaspoon of sesame oil. Ooh. Oh, you have the pouring technique down. See, that's what I had to master on oh, the show. Oh, come on. It's so, true. But we already have the green <laughs> onions in there, so I'm going to go ahead and skip this. So these are um, toasted sesame seeds. Beautiful. Yep. Okay, now all we need to do is just mix it all together. <laughs> yeah, so just go ahead and um, mix it all together. Have fun. Just like a texture play. 
<laughs> yeah. Very satisfying. Yeah. These are fun, right? These so already fun. smell so good, so, right? So good. I know. I have a feeling I will be making these again. <laughs> We're gonna make the traditional shape of kanzu, which is which kind of looks like an envelope. All right. So just take one sheet of dumpling skin like that. Careful. Put it on the palm of your hand and use your fingertip. Put the water around the edges. Like that. Everything good. Thank you. Yep. Oh my gosh, I love this. So using the spoon, I would say like half, yeah, this is a good enough. Smaller the stuffing that goes like on to this is yeah, this is good enough. So put it in the right in the middle like that. Maybe a little more. Yep. Okay. Time for craft. <laughs> so hold it like this. You first put the middle like this. Okay? okay. Like a little pocket. And then place it back on your palm. And then you ah. Yeah, see, see, now you're getting it. I know it's hard to explain. See? Oh, there you go! You already got it! Oh my god, so proud of me. Wow. Wow. Oh my god, this is a proud moment. That is oh a masterpiece. <laughs> We're almost done. Okay, this is okay. the final step. So let me see if the water has come to a boil. I think so. Ooh, yes, yes. See, you see the bubble? Yes. It's boiling. So, ooh, look at the stem. <gasps> yep. Oh, oh, oh. So this is the liner. Okay. Yeah. I mean, you can use a cheesecloth or parchment paper like this. This will actually help dumplings to not stick on the bottom. Perfect. Yeah. So are you ready to have a bite? I am so ready. Okay, so this is your creation, and this is what <laughs> I've made. These are beautiful. Good yes. job, all. Thank you. All right, so let's have a bite. All right. We're gonna. Oh, we cannot forget the dipping sauce. <gasps> let's one for wait for a second. Okay, so the best way to enjoy your dumpling is to. This is just a half, like, you know, one-on-one -on -one ratio, soy sauce and vinegar. Oh. Yeah, that's how simple it is. What we're gonna do, we're gonna use this uh, soy sauce, we're gonna kinda dip it in there. Okay. Choo-choo, like that. All right, cheers! Woo! 